everybody. Today I'm going to show you the number six. This is a number six. To draw a number six, we make a curve, then make a loop. There are no tricks to make a six. So make a curve and then a loop. There are no tricks to make a six. To make a six, you start at the top and you make a curve, then make a loop. There are no tricks to make a six. So make a curve, then make a loop. Here we have a number six. I brought with me some little ducks. How many do you think there might be? Shall we count them? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six little ducks. I'll play a song and you can join in. That six little ducks are going swimming today. Six little ducks went swimming one day over the hills and far away. Mama duck said, quack, quack, quack. And only five little ducks came back. One, two, three, four, five. Five little ducks went swimming one day over the hills and far away. Mama duck said, quack, 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 quack. One, two, three, four. But only four little ducks came back. Four little ducks went swimming one day over the hills and far away. Mama duck said quack, 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 but only three little ducks came back. One, two, three. Three little ducks went swimming one day over the hills and far away. Mama duck said quack, 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 quack. And only two little ducks came back. One, two. Two little ducks went swimming one day over the hills and far away. Mama duck said quack, 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 quack. But only one little duck came back. One little duck went swimming one day over the hills and far away. Daddy duck said quack, 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 quack. And all six ducks came swimming back. One, two, three, four, five, six. I Hi hope everyone. you enjoyed that. Today we're going to make a craft and I'm going to show you how to make a duck. The first thing I'm going to do is draw a circle. So I'm going to draw a big one and a slightly smaller one. This is going to be the duck's head and body. And then what you want to do is get your scissors and cut those out so that they look like these two. I'm also going to get a clean piece of paper and this is going to be the background for my duck. You can use whichever colours you like. The first thing that I'm going to do is put the duck together so the bigger circle is his body and the small circle is his head. So put those together. And I'm also going to make some water for the duck to go swimming in. I've used some blue tissue paper, which you might have some at home that you can use. But if not, you might like to draw some or cut some stuff from a magazine that you can use. And then we can glue these down with our glue sticks. So let's do that first. If you like. So that's those bits all glued down. The next thing that I'm going to do is get some feathers for my duck. So I've got two yellow feathers. Hopefully you have some at home that you can use or you might have something else. So there's one. And here's the other. 
Then to finish off, we need some eyes for the dap. So I've got some googly eyes, which I'm going to stick on. And the last thing our duck needs is a beak, which you might like to cut one out using orange pen or draw one on. And there's our duck in the water. So today I'm out in the nursery garden and I'm going to go on a hunt to try and find the number six. Would you like to come along with me? Let's have a look around the garden and see if we can find anything. Let's go to the bench near the tree. I think I've spotted something. Oh, we got our first number six here on the bench. So there's the first one. Are there any more? Oh, well, there's something on the slide. Oh, I find the padlocks. There's lots of number sixes on there. What else can we find in the garden? Oh, the tough spot. What number's on here? That's right, the number six. And I found one more on the wall, the number six over here. And for my final one, I've just found a big hopscotch. Shall we see if we can find the number six if you follow my feet? Number sixes. I hope you can maybe find some in your garden too.